Just doing another test shot, nothing final. This project in this journey Whitney Selesky is on is absent of color. Color photos can be distracting. And I also like playing on the fact that no human emotion is black and white, it's, it's shades of gray. She captures the realism, the struggle, the pain, and recovery in strangers' faces. This is perfect, this is perfect. And despite such a heavy topic. Excellent. These photo sessions bring with them a sense of peace on both sides of the camera. Suicide has become such an unspoken issue. The Stanley Sessions is a website Whitney created for people impacted by suicide. For me, I'm trying to capture what the specific story is. In 2016, Aaron Seitz had had enough. The pain is indescribable and it's unbearable. Despite her loving husband and three children, Aaron was ready to end her life. Just your eyes too are really excited. I just love eyes. But she got help and every day is getting better. Erin sharing her story because she wants others to know they are not alone in the battle of depression and thoughts of suicide. One of the things my counselors always said to me was, keep your light shining even if it's a flicker. The candle Carol Greestorn is holding is to honor her brother Randy. She lost him in 2012. So as much as it hurts, I also have many, many good memories of Randy. And I think that's what helps me be able to go out and speak about this. For those left behind, Whitney says as much as she tries to rationalize it, suicide does not make sense. The more we talk about pain, the more we show scars and talk about things like that, then I think the easier it'll be, rather than pretending that those scars aren't there. Um, you know, it makes it, it makes it easier, it makes you feel less alone. Whitney knows the pain. She named the Stanley Sessions after her father, Stanley Selesky. I feel like I have an odd relationship with him now. I, it, it feels odd um, because there's so many questions on my, on my end. But Whitney will never know for sure why her dad killed himself. Stanley's inability to talk about his struggles before suicide now has his only daughter on a mission to help facilitate a conversation, one photo session at a time. I love that.